All right, here we are for bag A, the first bag of the build. This is going to be, of course, our center diff, as you guys saw in the unboxing. So we'll go ahead, open this guy up, and we'll get started. Set the bag off the side there. And the first thing that I like to do when I'm opening these bags is just kind of get everything organized and where it should be. That way I know I have everything that I need. I'm not missing anything. And I know, of course, where to locate it. So as we get everything tossed out here, grab all of our pieces that we're gonna need, get everything, like I said, kind of just in a organized setup. All right, so here we go. So the first thing that we are going to, of course, go ahead and do is get my manual. That way I can make sure that I'm building this all correctly. So we'll get that set down there. That way I've got something to reference, but we're gonna go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just toss my bearings onto spur gear and the diff cup. That way that is just done and over with. Now the next thing we're gonna go ahead and do is get our out drives ready to go. So we'll take our black grease. I believe there might be a little bit of, nope, came out just fine. Sometimes there's like oils that are mixed into it, but we were good to go. So I'm gonna get a nice generous coating over where the O-ring is going to effectively sit and then where it's also going to make contact with our case. There's a groove on it. That's what you're gonna to wanna to fill. Get that put on there. And then while I still have some extra grease on my finger, We'll go ahead and get the other side taken care of. And then just wipe my hand off onto a rag. Get that put up. Next thing we're gonna go ahead and do is take just a little bit of my diff oil here and put some lubrication onto my O-ring. That way we're not just putting it in dry. And then I'll take my pliers Kind of just help it get down there and with the way this guy's set up it does use a washer so you can slide that washer on top and then use that as a nice flat surface to help push that o-ring into place next we're going to do is take our pin and slot it in to the hole in the out drive like so and to give you guys a better reference of that as you can see, there is a hole inside that. That's where that pin is going to sit. Then, still got a little bit of lubrication of diff oil on my fingers, so I'm actually able to get this O-ring set to go. We'll push that guy in, get him seated, put our washer on top, and then same thing, slide that pin into the hole and just kind of get it halfway through. Now I'm not gonna put the main gear, this sun gear on top just yet. I'm gonna wait to do that. So while we are sitting in this area where we don't actually have any gears inside the differential itself, I'm gonna go ahead and start filling it. Let's see, what do we call for in the center diff? We are going to do some 5,000 it looks like. I'm gonna do my build based off of a Jared Wiggins baseline setup. That way I just have, again, a base setup. If you wanna follow the manual to the exact spec, you can do that, but I am gonna make a couple changes as we go through our build. So we'll take our 5,000 and just get a nice coating on the bottom here. You're not gonna fill it up too, too much, just enough to get a nice coating along the bottom. That way you know that the underneath of this gear is going to be lubricated. Double check, make sure that pin is centered in there. Then we can drop our gear, take our pliers, rotate it around, and you can see that it's now kind of encompassing the uh, gear itself. So the gear is totally covered with oil now. From this point, we can take our pins, slide some gears on. Now these, are pin, these pins are keyed in two different ways. Of course, there's the center key, 
Then there's a key on the outside edge. That way it sits into these grooves nicely. So it'll be important to make sure that when you put your first ones in, that that groove is facing upwards. And we can go ahead, drop that in, use my finger to make sure it's seated and then rotate it around a little bit. That way I know that the teeth are meshed together properly. Now we can take the other pin and our other gears. Drop those on top, same thing. I'll rotate it around, make sure I'm nice and smooth. Then from there, we'll take our 5000 once again. Let it get to the uh, top here. And it's going to be important, like if you saw my diff building video, to get oil in all of these different grooves, different cre crevices. That way you are nice and lubricated. And then you're gonna wanna fill this to where it's just over those kind of cross pins. And then from there, we can again, just rotate the gears themselves. You'll notice that they're gonna wanna pop up. So then you can take a driver, your finger, pliers, whatever, and you just kind of push them back down into place. And then from there, you'll take a short break. You can see there are, well, I don't know if you would see it in my video, but you'll see it in your diff. There are a ton of bubbles in there, especially because new kit, everything is super duper dry. So you gotta get all those air bubbles out. So from here, what we're gonna do is just let it sit for a little bit. What I'll do in the meantime, if you haven't already, that's when you can build this top half of the gear, give it a little bit of time to settle in. Then I'll take my blue gasket and then just to make life easy, when I actually go to close the diff, I'll put a dab and then work it around. That way we are nice and oiled up here. And then I'll see if I've got any extra of my fingers just to add some tackiness to the spur. That way when you put this on, it kind of helps to assist it sticking to the top. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, but I always like to do my best to make sure that when I go to flip this over to actually close the diff, I don't lose my gasket at all. So from this point, it's just a matter of keeping an eye on your differential, making sure that the oil level doesn't drop too low. And then once all those bubbles are out and the oil level is correct, then we can go ahead and close it up. So I'll cut the video here for just a second while these flow out, and then we will come right back as soon as I'm ready to close this diff. All right, so here we are back with our differential. So now to finalize this bag, we're gonna take our sun gear, drop it right on top, wipe off the extra oil, go ahead and pick out the pinhole Once that is all clear of oil, then we can take our spur gear itself, do as close of a lineup as possible. The easiest thing to do is to take it kind of like that. That way you have an idea of where the holes are going to actually line up. Then we will drop it on top. And in my case, I didn't have to worry about that gasket coming off. Then from here, we'll take my 1.5 and just kind of make sure all the holes are lined up, make sure the gasket is all in the correct location. Then we'll go ahead, take our screws. Now my drill is currently set to the number 10 clutch setting. I don't know what that'll be on your drill or you can always do it by hand. But as you're building with the drill, no matter what your clutch setting is, always be careful as you drill these guys in. That way you don't damage anything. But I'll just get a base on that. That's not actually all the way tight yet. I wanna get my other side started. From there, once I've got kind of two guides, then I can go ahead and make sure that everything spins free. And we will put our other two in and then we'll go back and finish up with tightening those first two. So you can see there at the very end, I didn't get it all the way tight with the drill. I did the final kind of crank over by hand. And there it is. 
There's bag A complete, our center differential.